Welcome to our explanation of four working logics of Ryosan 2 all-in-one solar inverter. Deploy different working logic in different application scenarios to achieve maximum benefit. The first logic is USB working logic. It is designed for unstable grid scenarios and guarantees 100% battery backup, eliminating power outage concerns. Initially, the loads are continuously powered by the grid, leading to increased electricity bills while the battery maintains 100% SOC. When the sun rises, the inverter starts using more solar power. This means less electricity from the grid, saving you money. It's like getting a sunny discount. During peak sunlight, the inverter powers everything with solar energy, and your electricity bills drop to zero. As evening approaches and solar power wanes, the inverter smoothly transitions back to grid power with a rise in electricity bills. If the power goes out at night, the inverter switches to battery power seamlessly. It keeps the lights on until morning when the sun takes over again. No darkness drama. When the grid comes back, it works with the inverter to recharge the battery. Your loads keep running, but bills might go up gradually. Once the inverter's solar power hits the sweet spot, filling up the battery and handling all your needs, grid dependency drops to zero. Another mode, named SUB mode, for backup use and solar self-consumption. This mode reduces electricity bills by having the grid charge the battery only up to a preset reserved SOC. It will prevent battery cycling when the grid is available. As night falls, the grid initially powers the load. When the grid goes offline, the system switches to battery power to supply the load. Assuming the battery's SOC level drops to 38%, the grid starts to recover to supply the load and charge the battery again. But without solar input, the electricity bill continues to rise. With dawn, solar panels and the grid recharge the battery. As battery reaches preset reserved SOC 80%, the grid stops charging, allowing solar panels to prioritize powering the load and directing excess energy to the battery. As the solar energy gets stronger, it continues charging the battery, increasing SOC gradually. At 100% charge, all solar energy powers the load, reducing grid output. Grid support depends on solar panel capacity. If panels cannot meet load demands due to reduced output, the grid provides additional power, with the battery unused unless there's a grid outage. Next one is SBU mode. For area with stable grid but high electricity prices, this mode maximizes solar power utilization and cycles the battery to maximize the self-consumption and minimize electricity bills. In the evening, the grid connects without powering the load or charging the battery. The battery discharges to supply the load until reaching the reserved SOC. Later, the load ships to the grid, but it does not recharge the battery leaving space for solar charging and minimizing electricity costs. During the day, the PV initially generates limited power for the load without charging the battery, maintaining the battery's reserved SOC. As sunlight intensifies, the PV powers the load and charges the battery, preventing an increase in electricity costs from the grid. If sunlight weakens or the load increases, the PV may not suffice. The battery discharges to support the load, maintaining zero power grid usage until its SOC reaches the reserved SOC. Then, the grid assists, resulting in a gradual increase in electricity costs. As sunlight returns or the load decreases, the grid support stops, preventing further cost increases. The PV charges the battery while supporting the load, gradually increasing the battery's SOC. As the battery's SOC rises, it promptly discharges in response to less sunlight or increased load, ensuring a self-sufficient power supply without drawing from the grid. This balance optimizes solar energy use, reducing reliance on grid power for smarter energy management. Last one, SB mode, for areas with poor grid condition. Similar to SBU mode, but with a key difference. When the battery discharges to compensate the insufficient part of the solar power, the AC input relay will be connected when the battery hits its reserved SOC. 
once solar power fully meets demand and charges the battery to 5% beyond the reserved SOC. Rio Sun 2 disconnects from the grid by disconnecting the AC input relay. The grid is only for backup use, dramatically saving electricity bills and depending more on solar and battery. While in the SBU mode, when the battery discharges to compensate the insufficient part of the solar power and reaches the reserved SOC, the AC input relay will keep connected.